Last time we almost died here, and there's no bueno, but you're going to take a long rest right quick, probably. Oh, we could do two short rests realistically. Because we finished with them. They said to meet them at the place. Gale's fine. He just got his arcane hunger. I'm dying, Carlac's dying, Starion's not doing too hot either. What's our spell slots? I'm out of level 2 spell slots, my sorcery points, I only have 2 level 3, or 3 level 1 spells. What about Gale? Yeah, Gale, what's your slots looking like, my dude? Oh, he's solidly good. Is it worth long resting? I know they say like well, long rest a lot in this game, so maybe I should. Nah, we'll do a couple more things before we do. Do nothing. Just do both of those, so we're all pretty much full on health and ready to go. Oh, right. I probably need them all partied with me. Probably be a good idea. Map, we've been all of but a couple places. Hey, can we go this way? Oh, there's another cave. Is it the same cave? Probably the same cave. It's looking like the same cave. Trying to think. Let's go. Yeah, we'll go this way. We haven't really been up and around here. We killed the gnolls. I know that. Can we climb down the rock? Okay, no. I feel like that's the only thing I don't like is having to go around things so much. Okay, because we, we didn't go all the way this way. What is this? Oh, here's here's a place. Place is on fire. Smoke. Something's burning. Something is in fact burning. Oh Jesus Christ. Uh. Dead throughout raider. We cannot loot that dead body. Go ahead and talk. Let's talk to this person. He of the unsleeping eyes. Grant me the might to carry this burden. Grant me the faith to face darkness without fear. A massacre. Drow and goblins slaughtered the lot. Please, just leave me be. Well, okay then. Shout. Someone needs help. Faded drow leather armor. Drow craft armor. I'll take all of that actually. No magic left though. Sounds too cool bright. Okay. Spider's gift. What the fuck? What did I do? Graduate Raven Girl could be inside. Don't just stand there. Push! Uh, Firelight, you got the strength go here. A good meal. Graduate Raven Girl could be inside. Don't just stand there. Oh. I have like negative strength, so we're gonna do Firelight. Perfect. <laughs> there we go. Inside, hurry. We don't have much time. Okay, we need the we need the water barrels. Where are the water barrels? Oh, I'm on fire. Oh, 
Ouch. Here we are. Here's one. Pick up. Pick up. And another one. Pick up. Okay, so now we're encumbered, but we got three water barrels. Door's gonna blow. If we open it, there's an inferno waiting for us. Thanks, Mr. Wait. Okay, so we don't need the water barrels. So we saved somebody. Fresh air. At last. You honor your clan, sir. I'm in your debt. Counselor, are you all right? It takes more than mere fire to break me, Eva. Now listen close, Fist. Duty calls. Drow have taken Grand Duke Alder Ravenguard westward, if my eyes and ears can be believed. Okay. Gauntlet, report to the Manic and send for reinforcements. We must find the Duke. On your command, Counselor. The rest of you, count the dead. Take word of their sacrifice to this city. And you, I must ask again for your aid. Oh. Please. Rescue Ravenguard from his drow captors. The council will reward you for your effort. May I trust you'll see it through? The invisible force holding Baldur's Gate together. Without, I fear okay. that may have been the intention of those who abducted him. Thank you. And should your courage falter, remember the Duke's generosity. Yeah, Go. Like you should pick up the drow trail with ease. I will seek reinforcements and... Fist? To work. Oh. Spell Sparkler. Mine does one to eight damage. When the wielder deals damage with the spell or cantrip, they gain two lightning charges. And that sounds good, but what's this? The Jolt Shooter. Gain two. I mean, two lightning charges seems good. It's also a blue bow. Honestly, I'm thinking this. Because bows are already good, but being able to. What is this game? Just a. It's just a quarter staff post. I'll give this. But my magic. Uh, oh, that's we can give this one to. We can feed this to Gale. The Zardoc. Now. Uh, Gale's in the
another way to get past all that? Oh, like, you still have two like, things on you, though. Hey, good looking! I'm good looking. That's two. Oh, it's it's back on fire. Run. The key. There we go. Oh, back in it. More barrels. The flat. Something over there. Another one with the shovel? Yeah. Okay, there we go. Like wild. Four potatoes and some gold? Ooh, I do love me some potatoes. I mean, but why are you licking yourself, weirdo? This is the spot Rugen marked. Doesn't look like much. Oh, am I supposed to go through this? What's it? Okay. Why is there a fire barrel? Now this is a trap. You guys wait out here just, just in case, just in case. You spot a man alone. crouching between the shelves, just as he spots you. Oh, hell, dwarfs! I thought you were flaming fist. Well, down you go then. They'll be on us soon. So if you're looking to trade, you'd best be quick. Entrance is hidden behind the wardrobe. Here's the key. Oh, perfect. This is what we got for saving Guyan or whatever. Come on, gang. I can't afford Look at that. Hidden stash, okay. Perfect, I'm safe. I'm sorry to come. Who's here? Don't see anyone behind the gate. That's far enough. What's your business down here? Answer honestly, and maybe we'll kill you clean. Hold on. 
That's the lad who saved us from the Knolls. You revealed our location. That tongue gets any looser, Rugen. I'll cut it out. Come down, then. Seems you're a friend of the family. Everybody just failed that. Don't get comfortable. No that might be worth a look. Well, don't you cut a fine figure? Want your portrait done? If you have the gold, my pet artist will make you a most heroical likeness. Hmm, you've got an eye for quality. Every noble in Ball, tell him I sent you. And if he stains it up with his sniffling, there'll be hell to pay. Something I can help you with. Fancy that? So do I. Okay, we can sell some stuff. Seems like he's just selling poisons and whatnot, so we will take these. Take those. 99 for all. Okay, don't mind if I do. Can't show you the good stuff till Zaris gives the say so mind. Friends of the Zen only. Until we can get her to really say Free me now, we're and good, I'll see that my patron rewards you. I need only tell her it's a gambling debt. Mm. Oh. Open talk to I owe you one for saving my people. The Zentarim look out for their own. Even if it's Rugen. That's worth some coin. And my thanks. Our trader can show you some of our more exotic items now. But don't delay. This place is likely to be rubble soon. Someone kidnapped a duke. Right on our bloody doorstep. The Flaming Fist will need someone to blame. I don't plan on it being us. There. Oh shit. Got a crossbow for that too. Damn, I really have a lot of items I can just keep hailed now. Four to thirteen. Uh, when you deal damage to target with ranged weapon, it must exceed a charisma saving throw or Lamp, you stand for Deal blunt! Don't want open flames where we're going. Huh. That's actually pretty good. But I'm not proficient with martial weapons or heavy crossbows. I can only use the light cross. So let's go ahead and give that to Carla. Not 
do it and then fuck. That's the game. Nothing. No one stopped me yet. Now let's go down. The underdog. Inspiration. When I was getting used to the sky again. Long ride down. Is this Fear not, the Carlac. underdark? Sun, a dangerous moon, place to stop goods. Will still be there, even for a cent. Waiting for us. Meanwhile, this place is pretty spectacular, isn't it? So no book or painting could ever do its strange beauty justice. But perhaps our stories might, when we return to the surface. Spores. Is a little blood miss too much to ask for? Come closer, come right here, right there, right there, perfect, come right there. Nice crit. Okay, I was gonna say, didn't see him. Come on, let's go. Enemy is surprised. Got it. Let's 
closest she can get. She can probably dash. She'll wait right here. Time to push my luck again. Gone with the wheel. Oh, is it not? Is it not nowhere here? Is more dangerous than I thought. Field just fucking activated the thing around. Let's see the spot. A wizard's quite worthless with a tired mind. Sleep beckons. I would follow. This is slashing damage, vulnerability to bludgeoning damage. Okay, so we become vulnerable to that weaker resistance slashing. It's not that worth it. Honestly. Probably beat that to Gale. What's this one? To cast dancing lights. Then to Twilight. Because why? The now I'll know which one's mine to give to Gale. actually how this puzzle works. Okay, with that in mind. This is what me and my wife did, and it made at least too far. Because to be honest, that could totally not be the reason that we didn't get blown up and died. Don't be shy. Slender drow blade impales the stone before you, keeping a silent vigil. Again. Okay, so it's not meant to be. 
I want to save some inspiration. No matter how you grip or tug, the sword remains firmly lodged in the stone. This blade was a warrior's sacrifice to Elistray. Blood can only be honored with... The drow script inscribed on the blade flickers and glows. It rises from the stone, hanging in the air in silent offering. Alright, it really only took a little bit of blood then. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Okay. 5 to 14 damage, so one less, and then a couple less. Five. One's a two-handed sword, one's a one-handed. This good dead. Okay, so that didn't work. Someone awesome. there. I mean, we did. Uh, one of us snuck up to the door. It worked. Get through all the following me, so this can go. Let's go. Everything on fire? Was that the puzzle? Was lighting everything on fire? Because we did that. Shouldn't too. have wished to live in more interesting times. More locked stuff. Hmm? and this is why you're here. With pleasure. Another nap. Another 20 that you needed? Jesus. I don't remember them being this difficult. Try again. We have plenty of these. Doesn't mean I want to use. So we just need to roll at least a 9 to do nat 20s. Getting weaker by the moment. Or to roll 20s. Let me guess. Lock? Yeah. Come on in. We're good. Give me what's in the... Uh, what we got? Helmet of Smitey. Game's alright. Damn, it's good to be alive. Yeah. Perception's all failed. These things have stayed interesting. I know there's a wall here. Okay. 
Well, we can't go in there, so. Sucks to suck. Okay, we're definitely not ready for what's down there. So we need to go... Let me actually talk to everybody before I go to camp. You know, I've been thinking, and I think there's something I should tell you. Nothing big or terrible, just a small little detail about me that <laughs> hasn't come up naturally. <laughs> it's just that I happen to be a, uh, what's the best way to put this? A vampire. <laughs> oh. Right. Well. Glad we got that out the way. So, was there anything else? <laughs> no, but we did just accept you as a vampire. Gale? The Underdark has a certain menacing beauty to it. Though I'll be happier admiring it from a safe distance. That is most gratifying to hear. May I? We'll go ahead and give him one now. We'll give him the... This one. Thank you. And eat up. Absorb the magic, Gale. Well? It is a strange experience. Each time a new... I can't. Lost soul is spelunking through the darkness that is me, only to be sacrificed on the dread altar of the heart. But this doesn't feel quite right. I mean, it never feels right, but it relieves. This doesn't relieve. Oh. Mm. Need more? You do plenty for me, more than you realize. But this cannot be remedied. <clears throat> the magic isn't having the effect it should have. It's not like the last time, like a rainstorm that quells a forest fire. It merely drizzles. The embers still sizzle, the fire remains undefeated. I'm not certain what's going on, but nothing good. Please, I need to think. I need to. Retrace my steps to a glade of calm and think. Oh, Gale. Thank you for the artifact. A great deal of trouble it was, too. A great deal of trouble, indeed. And Carla? Can you believe this is my first time in the Underdark? The world is so big! Right? Sad. I couldn't let myself feel sad in the hells. Letting my guard down would have been a death sentence. And letting, say, a cambion near me would have been disastrous. I thought it best to just to keep my distance. But loneliness that deep gets into the marrow. Now that I'm here, among friends, I can feel it burning out of me, little by little, step by step. It will touch you properly. Woo! Where would you start? Just for as long as you let me, I'd already strip naked and take it from there. I'd like to hold your you hand. Put it somewhere interesting. I hope. Ah! God. We better find a way to call me off soon. I'm not sure how much more of this I can take. Okay, let's uh, let's go to camp. Old camp, long rest. Oh, we don't even have to go to camp to long rest. You probably don't. Long resting at camp is probably just the way to uh, be able to talk and organize better. Is there somebody over here? 
Well, oh, it's it's withers. I was like, why is there a little? As far as your minds connect, he sees the burning embers of Joaquin's rest, then Floric's face as she tells you of Raven God's abduction. Hells, old Raven God's been taken. Then we need to seek him out and get him to safety. You see, Grand Duke Ravengard is my father. What? I know I haven't said. Our relation was no matter of pride, not least for him. Okay. Thank you. That means a lot. But I wonder, what makes a Duke of Baldur's Gate so interesting to the drow? Even the houses of men's Oberanzin would have little use for my father. No, this is no drow plot. These absolute nutters, these true souls are behind his abduction. His it's absence like alone will sow chaos in the city. If they were to infect him, he could lead Baldur's Gate to ruin. Mm. All the more reason to find him. The absolute has seized not just my father, but the future of the Sword Coast. Okay, okay. So his father is the duke. And so I guess it gives us more of a reason to uh, take him back then. Go ahead and rest for the night. Yes. Two autos. You don't sleep well, flitting between dreams and nightmares. Maybe you wake up because you know something is wrong. Or maybe you just get lucky. Oh, starting. Shit. I know you just told me you're a vampire and all, but... No, no. It's not what it looks like. I swear. You were gonna bite me. I, I wasn't gonna hurt you. I, I just needed... Well, blood. There, in the dim firelight, you see him for what he really is. A well, vampire, we knew he was a vampire. A he told us. To he really told us. Hunger. I've never killed anyone. Well, not for food. I feed on animals, bulls, deer. Kobolds. Whatever I can get. But it's not enough. Not if I have to fight. I feel so weak. Malnutrition, but I just had a little blood. I could think clearer. Fight better. Please. At best, I was sure you'd say no. More likely, you'd ram a stake through my ribs. No. I needed you to trust me. And you can trust me. Thank you. Do you think you could trust me just a little further? Yeah, 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 I get it. I only need a taste. I swear. Really? I... Of course. Not one drop more. Let's make ourselves comfortable, shall we? Alright. Let me... Fly down here, my dude. Go ahead, take your bite. Get your blood out of me, homeboy. It's into your neck. A quick, sharp pain that fades to throbbing numbness. Your breath catches, your pulse quickens. You lean into him, losing yourself. You can feel your blood racing, coursing through both your bodies. A gentle, numb feeling starts to spread. Okay, now can I persuade him? Oh, and I have to persuade him to get off me? Okay. Okay, okay, we're good. We rolled it. 
Ah, of course. I was just swept up in the moment. Hmm. Had a taste, boy. But it worked. I feel good. Strong. Happy. Shouldn't take long. So many people need killing. Now, if you'll excuse me, you're invigorating, but I need something more filling. Happy hunting. This is a gift, you know. I won't forget it. You watch as he stalks off, stronger, more confident, ready to hunt. Now we're all asleep. <sighs> oh, Starion's got something to share to me. What do you have to say? Did I taste good? Good morning. How do you feel? It'll pass. Just be glad I'm not a true vampire. A bite from them and you might wake up as a vampire spawn. Like my good self. All of a vampire's hunger, but few of their powers. Oh, I've no idea. For 200 years, the sun would have turned me to cinders. Until the crash, when I woke up bathed in its light. Someone, or something, wants me alive. They've changed the rules. Hmm. Standing in the sun, wading through a river, wandering into homes without an invitation. They're all perfectly mundane activities now. <laughs> As for my other quirks, well, <laughs> we can figure those out in time. <laughs> you're such a sweetheart. I'm just glad you're being sensible about these uh, revelations. I was worried people might turn up with torches and pitchforks. Although there's still time. So we're traveling with a vampire, are we? Of course we are. <laughs> Darian, I taste absolutely awful. Yeah. And I'm way too hot to touch. I trust oh, quite the opposite. I'm here in the spirit of openness and honesty. Cat just jumped up on my Don't face and nearly caught my eye out. You say all the right words, but I'm not so sure you mean the right things. Still, I will respect the decision that was made. There now. We're all friends again. Shall we go? There's a long day ahead. <laughs> I love Astarian so much. He's such a witty, like, charismatic fellow. Absolutely adore him. All's well, I hope. Aside from the obvious. I'm actually curious about how my standing is with everybody in my party, so we're going to go ahead and actually check that. So, for Carlisle. Characteristics? No. Oh, she has high, high thing with the Zardok. Two of those. So she, yeah. So high, high for me. Okay, cool, good, good. What now? Starion. Medium. Okay. Oh, I have the magic touch. And Gale, hi. Nice. We're doing good. Is that blood? So we're gaining no, Astarians no. trust and likeness. Carlac and Gale already enjoy our company. What are you thinking about? Mm, you. We were both part of Zariel's inner circle. Her by choice. Me, by force. In the grand scheme of things, I'm inconsequential to Zariel. Sure, 
I've got the engine, but I wasn't even her strongest fighter. But she hmm. favored me like a child favors a captive pet. Mizora envied the attention, I suppose. I'm sure when Zariel gave her the order to hunt me down, Mizora was delighted. I don't know. You'd think she'd have more important things to do. Devils and their pride. Yeah. No kidding. The fighting, the chaos, the betrayal. It had the makings of a good stage show, but I did not want to be one of the players. I don't blame you. Okay, yeah, let's, let's catch up with everybody right quick, and then we're going to go ahead and end the episode. What's on your mind? We all have our burdens. One way or the other. Yeah. It's fair. Well met. He brings to mind a story. The devil with the silver tongue. An old fairy tale my father read to me. The kind with a hero, a villain. The moral. And the moral. A farmer made a deal with the devil, so the story goes. In exchange for the farmer's dearest fruit, the devil granted him a bottomless coin purse. The farmer's dearest fruit, naturally, was no apple nor peach, but his beloved daughter. We can learn a lot from fairy tales, don't you think? Agreed. That's because you still have hope. But when he becomes your last hope, remember this. He'll require of you only what you're least ready to part with. And then require more still. You might think you'd give up anything for a cure. But the devil won't take just anything. He'll take everything. Okay. I think that's all loose ends tied up, mostly. We haven't checked on Lizelle. Wait, where is she? Oh, she's right there. Of course, she's still naked because I gave her armor to Carlac, since I'm not going to be using Lizelle. Speak. Entirely. I was as devoted to my studies as I was to my training. Each crash contains a safest purification device. So I learned from the writings in the Kaleer Library. The library was a gift from Vlakith herself, that we may gain total understanding. Countless scholars roam the astral sea and beyond, observing the ways of our lessers, Exploring planes so distant, order turns to chaos, and cold fires rage. The planes are ever quaking, and their peoples ever shifting. The Githyanki possess an eternity of knowledge. <laughs> Yet we still collect more. Infinities upon infinities. Okay, then I think that's where we're ending it. Go ahead and save again. Saving. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. As always, we have the dream, and we have the Rex is outie!